So I do a lot of food dehydrating um, and storage, and I figured that I might as well start uh, making sort of quick videos uh, when I do so, um, just to kind of show the different types of fruits and vegetables that I um, use, use in my dehydrator. Um, some of them are a little more elaborate, some are really straightforward. You know, things like potatoes and apples, you, you have to you know, blanch them first, or, or for apples you gotta soak them in a, uh, a, an acidic bath so they don't turn brown. Other vegetables, uh, they're, they're really quite straightforward. And um, in this video, I'm going to dehydrate some peas. Now, I found uh, they had a really good price at the store on these frozen peas. And for a lot of frozen vegetables, they work great for dehydrating. Um, you can get them cheaper than anything fresh. And for a lot of veggies, um, it works a lot better uh, frozen rather than from a can. Um, as far as corn goes, I prefer that from a can because something happens it gets weird when they freeze corn for some reason the texture of it I just don't like as much but for peas I've dehydrated these exact peas before and they've turned out great and so like I said they had a good price on them so I'm going to dehydrate well I imagine this is probably gonna fill up the whole machine going to fill this bowl up as well, so I might have to do this in a couple of uh, batches. Oh, maybe it will just fit here. Like I said, these, these dehydrate really well. They're you know, good for soups and stews and especially anything that involves them simmering in hot liquid. Of course, you could just rehydrate them in some, some uh, warm water for a while and use them for whatever you want. But since I tend to use things in soups and stews and that sort of thing, um, I just kind of throw them in there. The most, the most difficult or annoying thing about dehydrating peas is that they want to roll around all over the place. And that can be kind of annoying, especially since I usually put my dehydrator in the basement because the sound of it seems to upset my dog. So carrying this up and down the stairs gets kind of kind of perilous especially before they've all shriveled up and I'm just going to fit about as many on here as I can without them being stacked on top of one another well I'll probably just kind of fast forward this video through doing the rest of these because it's just a uh, it's not that interesting to see this done 12 times so I'm just going to kind of go fast forward here. Well, to my surprise, I was able to get all those peas uh, in here, and I still have three trays left over, so, you know, I might as well take advantage of it since I'm going to run this thing for probably about 12 hours. So I've been meaning to, uh, to hydrate some, some canned corn that I have on hand, um, so I'm just going to fill up these trays and, and, and add that in here as well. Uh, all I did was uh, empty out three cans of corn into this colander, and Rinsed it all off with some cold water and it's been draining for a few minutes here. That's about it. I'm just going to spread it out just like the peas. I don't know if this will 
quite get me a full jar, but that's okay. If not, I'll do another can or two. I generally like to store jars that are full just so I'm making the best use of my space in my pantry. So if I don't quite have a full jar of something, I usually get some more and dehydrate it and fill it up. And as these dry, of course, they'll get they'll shrivel up to be really tiny, so if if we have you know corn or whatever touching each other a bit, that's fine. It's going to shrink down as long as it's not layered up really much. It's going to be just fine. You don't want big stacks or piles of anything on a, on a tray. Corn dehydrates really well and it rehydrates really well. You can't go wrong with corn in any kind of soup or stew or chili. I really like to add it into chili. All right. All right, so that's it. I got uh, the peas and the corn in the in the dehydrator. The whole thing's pretty well filled up. I put the cover on it. I got it set to uh, 125 degrees, which is what pretty much all the vegetables I do uh, call for. And in my experience, this is probably going to take somewhere between 10 to 12 hours before these things are just absolutely dry as a bone so we'll pick up there all right it's been about 11 hours and uh, I think we're in good shape the the peas and the corn are completely dry so I'm gonna go ahead and try to carefully put all of these into a bowl here I don't know why this your tray is sticking a little bit, but that's going to make this difficult. It's kind of easier to pour these into a bowl or something first before putting them into the jars. fast forward again through this part since I just have to dump all these trays into this bowl. Try to carefully put these uh, these peas into this uh, jar here. I think I'm going to use a little scoop to do it, just so I can kind of make sure not to spill these all over the place. jars worth of all these but it's pretty close yeah, that's not bad at all I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna vacuum seal that in a minute now as far as the corn you get another bowl to put all this in
And I don't think I'm going to get a full jar out of this. I didn't really think I was going to. Yeah, sometimes these little pieces kind of get stuck in the, the mesh here, so I just got to knock those loose. Three trays of the corn, so this will just take a second. tempted to uh, add the peas in here just to get this jar filled up but you know what that wouldn't even fill it up and to be honest it would kind of kind of really bug me to, to mix this, mix uh, mix these two vegetables into a single jar for no other reason so uh, I'm gonna have to get some more some more corn probably about three or four more cans four or five maybe to fill this jar up so um, I'll still seal it in the meantime just so it stays as fresh as possible and well there's not a whole lot of peas left here so I'm going to save these and probably add these to a, 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 a soup mix or or something like that so I'm not going to add these to another jar just now Alright, as always we got the food saver with the trusty jar attachment. I'm going to go ahead and seal these up. Alright, now if you haven't used one of these before, it would be almost impossible for me to remove this attachment right now until I... I I break the suction by pulling this the hose out and then I can easily twist this right off and I'll just do the corn and put the hose back in left to do is to uh, make a label with my handy label maker here uh, with the date and store it in the pantry as for the corn I'll leave that out because well, within the next few days I'm gonna fill the rest of that up so that's it that's dehydrating and storing peas and corn <laughs>